Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I am so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is morning prayer for Thursday, May 15th. It's the fourth week in Easter, and it's week three in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 50, and Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 to 26. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, the mighty God, the Most High, has spoken and called the earth. Hallelujah, Psalm 50. Hallelujah, the mighty God, the Most High, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined in glory. Our God shall come and not keep silent. A consuming fire shall go before and a raging tempest all around. God shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth to judge the people. Gather my saints together before me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens shall declare God's righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not accuse you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings. They have been continually before me. I will take no bull out of your house, nor rams out of your folds, for every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. And if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all that is in it. Will I eat the flesh of bulls? or drink the blood of goats, offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and pay your vows to God Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, why do you declare my statutes, or take my covenant upon your lips, seeing that you hate instruction, and you cast my words behind you? When you saw the thief, you befriended him, and you have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue tells lies. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silence, and you thought that I was like you. But I will accuse you, and set my case in order before your eyes. Consider this, you that forget me, lest I tear you into pieces, and there be none to deliver you. Those who offer praise glorify me, and to them that speak rightly, I will show my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The mighty God, the Most High, has spoken and called the earth. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, beginning at verse 21. Now you have heard it said to those of ancient times, you shall not commit murder, and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the hell of fire. So when you are offering your gift at the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother or sister. And then, come and offer your gift. 
Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are on the way to court with him. Or your accuser may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions and pray for the church and for the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. For unity in the church that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty. For the destitute and the unemployed. That we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. We pray for Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all of your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Accept our praises, we beseech you, O Most High God. In thanksgiving for your loving kindness, we honor you this morning. We place our hope in your salvation. Never let us forget you. Guide us in your ways and strengthen us in our vows. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.